Hey there, it's Casey Dim and TaxLAwAcademy.com. Thanks for joining me today. I got a quick little tip for you. I was just browsing my emails from over the weekend and it reminded me of something that I don't think I've shared with you guys before. I've got a tip for you today that might help you out. So whenever you're browsing the different county websites, looking at different tax sell auction lists, maybe looking at tax sell results, maybe just reading some information. If you ever see the opportunity to sign up for an email list about their tax sales, by all means, give them your email address. Now, most of the time, they're gonna send you lots and lots of emails. They aren't gonna spam you or anything like that, so don't worry about that. But usually what they'll do is they'll send you reminders about the upcoming auctions. Sometimes they'll send you the auction list via email. Sometimes they'll even send you updates or maybe law changes, that kind of stuff. And this becomes very, very helpful, especially if you're investing in multiple areas. I've had many situations where as soon as the law changes, they send an email out, and then of course I can dig in and do a little bit of my research. I've also had situations where they've reminded me of an upcoming sale that maybe I overlook. So it's a great way to kind of get in tune what's going on in those potential areas. And even if you don't have any interest in truly investing in that area. Maybe it's an area that you used to invest in, or maybe it's an area that you saw the past auction results and you're like, whoa, it's just too expensive. Whatever it is, even if you don't have any interest in investing there, it still might be a good idea to be subscribed to their email list because at the very least, you'll learn about law changes and all sorts of other stuff that could potentially help you. Again, worst case scenario, hit the unsubscribe button. It's not that big of a deal. Now, on that same token, if you find any other websites, any other useful information, any other resources out there that have mailing lists, sign up for those as well. I'm talking about like local realtors, appraisers, mortgage lenders, anybody like that, anybody that watches the local market, anything like that. So if you see these, sign up for them. Now, if you're worried about spam, you can always create a secondary email address and you can just take the time maybe once a week and go and sort through all these emails and read everything to kind of get you back up to speed. But there's so much information that is out there that people put out for free using their email list that is kind of silly almost not to take advantage of it. So absolutely, when you see the counties, make sure you sign up for that and any other resources as well. If you think they'll be helpful for you, make sure you give them your email address, and then of course, review their emails periodically. Guys, that's it for today. For more information on tax law investing, head on over to taxlawacademy.com. While you're there, grab this book, The Tax Sell Playbook. It is the ultimate guide to buying and selling tax defaulted real estate. Now, I wanna ship you a copy of the physical book. I paid for the book. All that I ask is that you pay for the shipping cost to get it from my warehouse to your front door, which is less than five bucks if you're in the United States. And of course, if you're looking to learn about investing in tax defaulted real estate and you want the most comprehensive step-by-step -step training program, go to the same website. Go to taxlawacademy.com and click on join and become a member of the Academy. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.